<sighs> What's up guys, Fumo here, welcome back to another video. So, why I love Samsung instead of Apple, totally off topic I know, it's because iPhone has been broken in numerous places. It cost me about eight pounds to buy two different parts. I bought a new audio jack, now my camera is working, and I bought a new charging port, repaired the whole thing, cost me a grand total of 10 pounds. Now, you can't do that with Apple iPhones, can you? No. If you haven't been living under a rock recently, there's been a new announcement by the APA, the American Psychological Association, to classify a new condition called toxic masculinity. What this basically means is that you can be accused of having some sort of a mental illness and you can have your privileges taken away or restrained because you are a toxic masculine. Now, I cannot honestly understate just how serious this is. Because for the first time, we are seeing set into law, at least to my knowledge, the idea that masculinity is toxic. You don't hear about feminine toxicity. No, no, no. It's only men who can be toxic. I mean, the whole idea of this notion is absolutely hilarious. It just shows how absolutely batshit insane this world is actually becoming that we have a condition now that is specifically towards men that is called toxic femininity. How about, oh, you know, over, you know, women who bitch too much? Is that toxic femininity? Women who nag too much? We don't have any of those sort of definitions for the opposite sex. It's only for the men. Now, I've come to realize that there is one thing I think as a man, well, there are many things, but there's one thing I think that I and I think many, a lot of men used to focus on, and I think um, this, I will tie this into NoFap as well, which you should never allow a woman or anyone for that matter to do. That is to define for you what masculinity is. There is an aspect of female psychology that will attempt to, is most often seen in relationships, but also in other places, where women will attempt to shave a man down to a size that they can find him likable. They will groom, try and groom him to be a good provider. Now, this can easily be avoided by watching out for the shit test. There is a common occurrence in female psychology whereby a man will, a woman will attempt to shave a man down to the point, to the point where he's very easily groomed and very easily handled. The women are masters at manipulation. I've seen this especially at my workplace with my boss because back in the caveman days, women didn't have the advantage of physical strength. So they relied on, they, they developed an enhanced sense of almost like verbal and emotional control and verbal and emotional attack. And they have a ways of manipulating you verbally that men, it takes them like two days to figure out, holy shit, that's what she meant when she said that, you know, I was putting, you know, she meant that I was putting on weight. Women will attempt to shave a man down and I very, heard a very, very interesting story is that um, sometimes in a relationship, what will happen is that after you, after you are together or maybe just, just like a common partner or something like that, uh, the woman will often try and, oh, you say like you're trying to be fit. She'll be like, oh no, don't go to the gym staying with me and so instead of saying oh you know why don't we make a healthy meal and why don't you make me a healthy meal or why don't we go out to a healthy restaurant no nah, let's just get take out so then eventually 10 years down the road you're this fat slob stuck to the couch beer belly you know balding and all this other stuff and now she's absolutely sick of you and then you wonder why she's now filing for a divorce it's because women will constantly try and chip away at a man's masculinity that's the way that they try and control us that's the way that they try and seize the situation now i believe that we are currently living in a situation whereby female hypergamy I mean, the negative aspects of female nature have been allowed to run out of control thanks to many things like the feminist movement and a lot of the leftist policies out there that are making allowing female hypergamy to just absolutely blow up to the point where we are having stupid shit like this, whereby we have um, <clears throat> toxic masculinity as a medical term. I mean, imagine, can you imagine walking into a psych, to, to, to a shrink's office and then he or she, most likely a she, writing on a piece of paper and saying, I'm sorry, sir, you have terminal toxic masculinity and I now banish you to the Isle of Women not the nice kind so that so that you could learn how to be a good man and get in touch with your feminine side and that sort of bullshit so women know especially um, if they're very very young um, when they're like 21, 22 and they're just sort of reaching their, their, their sexual prime, especially in like school and college, that is the first time when they really start to realize just how much power they have and they realize just how much they can use their sexuality to manipulate men. And it's around about this time that men generally tend to get, generally tend to not so much get screwed over because they're still sort of in college, but they te generally tend to be baited around. They, they, they tend to be cucked about in a sense because they end up doing all, doing all the blue pill beta um, decisions 
friends like you know begging her you know you, you know placating you know supplicating and doing all this stuff because they're also coming into sexual maturity and more often than not they haven't learned the ins and outs of the game and sort of you know this like that so it's around about that time that women really do really do understand just how to really exploit a man's masculinity and exploit a man's um ego against him and i have found that with things like nofap it's become and this is where i tie it back into nofap it's become increasingly more obvious just as my own masculine energy does begin to increase how i've noticed that recently is that i was um about two days ago i had what i could probably describe as a transcendental like sexual experience so when i was gazing into the eyes of a woman i felt my sexual chakra just literally open up and spring right through to my head and expand throughout to the rest of my body and i felt like a caged beast ready to be let loose and it was in that moment that i noticed that the person that i was talking to also noticed it too and it became very very clear to me that because we have been made so out of sync with stuff like porn with stuff like um, with stuff like toxins that, that lower testosterone, it became very apparent to me that this energy that I'm feeling used to be the natural state of man. She was probably in her about late, late twenties. So I could tell the look in her eyes because she could tell that there was a change in me and she was, she was maybe consciously or unconsciously. She was trying to think, how can I play this off into my advantage? And right then and there, it hit me like slow down because when I'm doing stuff like NoFap and a lot of other things and I'm getting the surges in testosterone thanks to all sorts of other things that you know look look at my previous videos if you want to hear if you want to hear more about that but because I because I because I understood that I realized that this energy is being manipulated in so many fields it's being manipulated against men it's being uh, used against their pride in various different act, um, aspects of society it's also being used to shame them again as well it's like this stupid gillette commercial that says oh boys will be boys i've actually got a video coming out about the about the about the gillette commercial but i think if you haven't seen it go watch it but my favorite part is when um, a hot girl walks by and this guy standing in the shop corner sort of like looks across and goes yeah yeah and this 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 fucking incel cut blue pill beta motherfucker would just go like no 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 man no man we don't do that anymore i swear to god if someone did that to me their balls would be coming out of their mouth because i'd kick them so fucking hard i don't give a shit if you're not meant to kick a man on the balls that man fucking deserved it because he didn't fucking eat him anyway what was i saying hello um yeah <laughs> some of my cats are trolling me yeah don't ever ever allow either a man or woman or society tell you what your masculinity is or exploit your own masculinity because ultimately male masculinity is one of the most needed resources on this planet we more than ever need real men and if we allow women or beta men to hold on what's he doing what's he doing he's hunting and here we have the domesticus fatus fatus domesticated catus he knows he's being filmed. He looks like at any moment he's gonna run at me, which which he does do. Okay, oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. He's winding up for it. It is the most valuable resource that we cannot afford at any cost to be exploited, and no one on the face of this earth should tell you how masculinity is, especially when it is for you. We are men. We are leaders. We are not followers. And I'm not saying that to sound sexist because I'm not saying you shouldn't listen to women. What I'm saying is that when we're born leaders and we feel that we feel allow, if we allow ourselves to be followed for long enough, the world that we will find ourselves in, I want fucking no part of. I'm pretty sure that you don't want, want any part of it too. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say for today, guys. It is freezing and I will see you later. Peace.